acrid smoke hangs heavy in the air across Surfside, a constant reminder of the tragedy still unfolding here. Fires burn deep in the wreckage, still smouldering despite the storm. Judy Spiegel was in the building. Her husband, Kevin, who was away on business, knows this unthinkable purgatory won't be over any time soon. I do cry on and off, and, you know, and, you know, try to comfort the kids and the grandkids um, is really my focus. Do uh, your grandkids know or...? Well, yeah, we told Scarlett <laughs> that Grandma's lost and we can't find her. Um, and, you know, she, she knows something's up. She doesn't know why, but Grandma was always there to take care of her. And that she's not there, she's very concerned. Every day here brings fresh heartbreak for the families of the 159 people still missing. This time it was news of a report which found major structural damage in the vicinity of the building and crumbling of columns in the parking garage beneath. That was three years ago. When the building came down in the early hours of Thursday morning, repairs still hadn't started. The Champlain Towers North is almost identical to the Champlain Towers South, which collapsed. It was built at the same time with the same design, yet residents here still haven't been evacuated. They want reassurances from Florida's governor that they're not in danger too. Would you feel safe going to sleep tonight if you were in the sister building of this just 100 yards away? I know they are considering potentially evacuating them, uh, but that's something that, uh, you know, ultimately the mayor's going to have to make the call on. You've got all your, all your clothes in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is, um, few dollars here and this is. William has moved out of his own accord with all his belongings in one plastic bag. Yeah, I'm very, very worried. I am 75 years old in my year, living every day, every day with the threat that the building could be collapsed. The apartment block was built on reclaimed wetlands, like many in this area. A study had found it was sinking into the ground at a rate of two millimetres a year. In the 1990s, what we, we found was that the, the land was subsiding, was lowering down in several places. When we see only one building that is moving, uh, we cannot say exactly why. So, so with the Champlain Towers South, it was very localised. It was just that building that was subsiding at that point. That's right. It could be months, perhaps even years, before families discover what exactly caused the building to collapse, devastating lives and changing this beach town forever. Now authorities are under pressure to ensure it can never happen again. Martha Kellner, Sky News, Florida.